With me right now is Dan Chang, Channel Partner Manager for SPS Commerce. Welcome, Dan. Thank you. How's the uh, Panels 2015 been uh, for you? It's been really good, It's and it's been good as a sponsor as well. I mean, we've gotten a lot out of it, met a lot of really good partners and, and customers as well. Excellent. Well, I have a few questions for you. Do you mind fielding some uh, some questions? No, sure. <laughs> Excellent. Um, first question, and many people know, but I'm hoping you can share shed a little more light. What is Omnichannel? Sure. So Omnichannel is really the idea that um, we as consumers are demanding that we have a consistent experience regardless of where we choose to to meet, uh, you know, interact with a retailer or a supplier. So if it's in the store, if it's online, if it's on a mobile app, we want a consistent experience and we want a consistent, you know, messaging. So and that's really important to us and our the shopping experience that we demand as consumers. Excellent. Next question, what does the digital customer or the digital consumer want these days? Well, I think that's changed a lot and and nowadays it is a lot about, you know, customer reviews and and social validation. What are other people buying? What are they um, you know, what are they having good experiences with? And then also, if I'm not going to be able to go into a store and look at a product before I buy it, um, making sure that I have all the information I need in terms of the color, the materials, you know, all the different, um, sp the specific parts of that, that item that make me want to buy it or not buy it. So I think um, more information, um, competitive pricing, and of course, really competitive shipping, fast shipping um, is something that we expect now, and convenient returns, especially if you're purchasing online, you don't want that the experience, you know, returning to be really hard or difficult. And that information and that immediacy that all these different channels provide has got to, has to affect the whole retail environment. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it, it impacts the way that now retailers and suppliers and, you know, the, the third party warehouses that people use, it, it affects how they have to interact, the types of information they need to exchange. So it, it's, there's huge impacts across the supply chain. Excellent. How can I set up my organization to take advantage of the omnichannel business? Well, definitely there's, um, there's kind of two buckets, right? Oh. There's, there's the, on the system side of things, you need to make sure that your system's flexible enough and that it, it's able to, um, you know, store the kind of information that you need in order to provide back that information to the consumer, to the retailer. Um, so, I mean, I think systems upgrades are huge and making sure that you have a capable system. The other piece of it is, being able to quickly interact with the people you do business with. So taking advantage of a retail business network like SPS where um, we can quickly connect you with people, quickly help you exchange information with people and uh, you know, kind of increase the speed that it, the, the amount of time, um, lower the amount of time that it takes to actually get up and running with someone. Great, thank you, great answer. Um, what is EDI and uh, what does it mean for the retail business? Yeah, so EDI is electronic data interchange, and really it's the, the way that retailers mandate that suppliers should communicate with them, right? So if you want to be able to do business with a retailer, they require that you receive a purchase order a certain way, you invoice them a certain way. So it's those list of requirements that are you know, kind of a standard, but every retailer is different. So um, something that every supplier you know, or every trading partner really in the, in the supply chain needs to figure out their piece, um, you know, how to communicate with the other people um, that they need to do business with. Okay. Now, we were talking a little earlier, and we we're talking about the relationship, a developing relationship between SPS and SalesPad. Could you elaborate on that, or is it too secretive right now? <laughs> no, not at all. No, so we're, we're really excited to be working with SalesPad. Um, you know, certainly a, a nice uh, customer base and a customer following. Uh, a lot of customers, are. it's very apparent that they're getting a lot of good value out of SalesPad. And so on that part, um, a lot of customers have needs that SPS can help fulfill, right? Whether that's on the EDI side of things or analytics or providing back item information to their uh, to their retailers. So we're working with them and, and SalesPad is um, going, you know, is building a module that connects to the SPS Commerce Network. So you can take advantage of the 60,000 companies that we have connections pre-built to so that you don't have to do that on your own step by step. So I think something that makes a lot of sense and, um, you know, is going to really help the sales pack customers that have those types of needs. Wonderful. Well, uh, congratulations. And um, thank you so much for being a sponsor yeah, of Panels 2015 and for taking a few moments sure. to talk to us.